Hello there, my fellow space sailors, and welcome once more to what is probably gonna be the last of the Imperial Navy Cruiser videos in this series. After this one, I will probably do one more video with some ships I might have omitted, or maybe just jump into battleship territory. But coming back to today, I wanted to talk to you about what is one of the most famous and beloved light cruisers of the Imperium, aka the Dauntless class. That and another lesser known class called the Endeavor. So without further ado, let us learn a few bits about these, shall we? The Imperial Dauntless class light cruiser is a light scouting cruiser and escort vessel like those that have been always been the mainstay of the Imperial Navy's fleets throughout the Milky Way galaxy. An ideal light cruiser carries enough firepower to drive off opposing escorts and enough fuel and supply to remain away from Imperial bases for months at a time. The Dauntless is a popular class of light cruiser, as fast and maneuverable as a frigate, but with a ferociously powerful frontal lance armament for its size. The Dauntless class vessel is far more commonly seen operating on its own or in squadrons in deep space or planetary systems. It is a very reliable starship, and the class has a long history of being dependable and formidable in times of war. Escort vessels are widely employed in the Imperial Navy to protect the more vulnerable capital ships of a battle fleet, so that they survive in combat long enough to bring their heavy weapons to bear. The Dauntless class light cruiser is an ideal heavy escort for most Imperial battleships. As well as its escort role in the Imperial fleet, the Dauntless is also used as a fleet reconnaissance vanguard, acting as the eyes and ears of fleet commanders. Dauntless class vessels often operate well in advance of the main fleet and use their auspexes to glean information on enemy ships that they then relay to the main fleet. This can determine where and when to engage the enemy that will prove most advantageous. The appearance of a Space Hulk is one event that can put an Imperial star system in jeopardy. It is often a Dauntless class that is the first Imperial warship to intercept and investigate these haunted leviathans because of their repressive speed and their role as scouts. The Dauntless class light cruiser is also often the Imperium's first choice when it needs a starship to serve in a primarily non-combat role. For instance, Adeptus Mechanicus explorators regularly use this type of ship as a way of exploring the galaxy in search of lost technology and new worlds for the Imperium to settle. This ideal light cruiser carries enough firepower to protect itself on extended missions and enough fuel and supplies to remain in deep space and away from naval bases for months at a time. It is worth noting that many branches of the Imperium other than the Imperial Navy have been known to use this class of ship, including Space Marine chapters who make use of them in their large chapter fleets. Some of the most powerful rogue traders have also been known to use Dauntless class cruisers as their flagship, though only the wealthiest and well-connected rogue traders possess the pull with the Imperial Navy to acquire such a warship. The Dauntless class carries weapons that can finish off a cruiser or even a battleship, making this light cruiser an incredibly dangerous ship for its size. The Dauntless class's armament includes an average-sized port and starboard's weapon battery as its primary weapon of engagement at short range. Enough firepower is contained in either battery to turn a hostile escort vessel into a smoldering wreck or to cripple a similarly sized enemy light cruiser. However, the real power of the Dauntless comes in the form of its prow lances. Located on the wingtips of the vessel and on the prow where a ram would be, these lances can make short of any enemy escort, and can ensure the Dauntless remains a thorn in the side of any enemy cruiser. Some Dauntless class ships are not outfitted with lances, and have had them replaced with torpedo tubes instead. Dauntless class variants outfitted with torpedo tubes are usually found accompanying the more common variants outfitted with lances in small squadrons or in the battle fleet itself where they are expected to get close to the enemy. 
Neither of these variants of the Dauntless are any less capable than the other at carrying out their intended role. A few notable Dauntless light cruisers include The Aegis Recently recalled from her quasi-exile at Damaris, after preventing a full-scale orc incursion, the Aegis and her fiery commander, Lord Captain Sylvia Locke, arrived at footfall for a new assignment. Despite disobeying a direct order, Lord Captain Locke's quick thinking and great tactical skill smashed the orcs at Damaris, and the Admiralty of Scintilla have given her the supposedly easy task of patrolling the Furibundus system while they decide what to do with this opinionated officer. The Aegis is a Dauntless class light cruiser, fitted out as a long-range reconnaissance ship. After more than a millennium in service to the throne, and the recent savage events at Damaris, she is a scarred and battered old ship, but still clear-eyed and dangerous enough in a fight. The Baron Surter The Baron Surter, alongside its squadron mate, the Uziel, were the first Imperial starships to detect Warmaster Kuzor's chaotic fleet near the Formosa Cluster, and these two Dauntless-class light cruisers in formation allowed Imperial Admiral Sartus to successfully bring the enemy to battle. The Bellerophon The Bellerophon mutinied at the beginning of the Gothic War, and attempted to join the side of Abaddon the Despoiler, but the Dictator-class cruiser Lord Solar Macarius gave chase, and ultimately recaptured this treacherous vessel. Freedom's Price Recently purchased by House Feckward, Freedom's Price is a Dauntless-class light cruiser that began life under the name Liberator. Initially laid down as a long-range scout and auger picket ship, Liberator served with distinction alongside her sister ship Aegis among the Drusus marches at the end of the Angevin Crusade. She was sold out of the service hundreds of years ago, and disappeared from record until recently when she turned up at Port Wonder in the fleet of a minor rogue trader under the name Freedom's Price. A number of missteps and poor decisions on the part of the rogue trader, and he was taken into custody by the Arbites and his assets liquidated. Croc and Feckward, recently set ashore and shipless after the disastrous events surrounding an ill-fated commercial venture in the Coronas Expanse, picked up Freedom's Prize for a scandalously low price, and has been using her to great effect in rebuilding his fortune. He was delighted to find out that at some point in her long, mysterious absence, she had been fitted with numerous systems of obvious Zeno's origin. In the short time he's had her, he's fitted her with even more heretical Xenos technology, much to the chagrin of his colleagues and business partners. The Hammer of Truth The Hammer of Truth belongs to a rogue trader named Baron Django Scourge. Once a swift, dauntless-class cruiser, Django heaped it with armor and weapons until its much-abused engines now struggle to drag it among the stars. The Harrower The Harrower was a captured Dauntless-class cruiser which served in the fleet of the Chaos Warlord known as Mayhor the Harvester. The Harrower was reportedly destroyed by the Star Phantoms during the scourging of Kerak. The Nihontu The Nihontu is a fearsome vessel, equipped with banks of land turrets and heavy armor, and the pride of Sun Li's rogue trader dynasty. Her paranoia after losing the ship in combat prompts her to never leave port without an escort of three raiders. The Vengeful Martyr The lead vessel of Patrol Group 686, the Vengeful Martyr is an ancient and revered vessel, one of the ships which served in the Angevin Crusade and survived to form the core of Battlefleet Calixis. Broadly speaking, the Vengeful Martyr is somewhat more capable than the average Dauntless-class cruiser, being slightly more resilient and significantly more maneuverable than most, and fitted with a rare but potent drive to power its forward lance battery. The Vengeful Martyr has gained something of a reputation in its long history of being an eager warship, unwilling to hide or retreat, but always reliable and potent on the attack. 
A long line of commanding officers have found it challenging to rein in the animal ferocity of the ship, but those who have succeeded have achieved great things with it. The dimensions of the Dauntless are a length of approximately 4.5 kilometers, a mass of approximately 22 megatons, a crew of approximately 65,000, and a maximum sustainable acceleration of 2.5 gravities. The Endeavour Class Light Cruiser The Endeavour Class Light Cruiser is one of the smallest classes of cruiser in the Imperial Navy though it is also one of the slowest due to the large array of heavy armament, giving it an offensive punch above its tonnage. A design first manufactured in the orbital shipyards of the famed Forge World of Voss, the Endeavour class has a markedly different mission profile from the far more common Dauntless class light cruiser. Given its relatively slow speed and heavier armor, the Endeavour is typically used as a stopgap ship of the line convoy flagship, or battleship escort in large set-piece naval battles. The captains of Endeavour-class vessels must be careful not to bite off more than they can chew, for the ship lacks the firepower of a real cruiser, yet often find itself in confrontations better suited to vessels of that type. Several Endeavours serve in the Imperial Navy's battle fleet Calixis, as there is a proportionately less need for true ships of the line there. Many routine patrols in that sector and others consist of an Endeavour accompanied by a pair of frigates. The Endeavour class, lacking the speed for anti-pirate operations, is preferred as a convoy flagship or heavy escort to large capital ships of the line. Its heavy gun batteries can almost match the firepower of larger, true cruisers and it is capable of holding its own in the midst of a pitched battle. Many Endeavour-class light cruisers were sent to Battlefleet Armageddon during the latest Orc invasion, where, during fighting against Orc vessels, the Endeavour's relatively slow speed for its class was not found to be a hindrance. The Endeavour and its sister vessels became a staple for Battlefleet Armageddon as replacements for ships destroyed by the Greenskins. The dimensions for the Endeavour are a length of approximately 3.8 kilometers, a mass of approximately 22 megatons, a crew of approximately 67.5 thousand, and a maximum sustainable acceleration of 1.9 gravities. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you on the famous Dauntless class and the slower Endeavour class. One note I would like to make is that, like I mentioned in my channel update video in September, I will be taking Sundays off in the next couple of weeks, as evidenced by the fact I didn't post any video yesterday. The truth about that is that I was really sick on Sunday with stomach pain and nausea, so I literally had to stay in bed all day. But I wanted to take these breaks in the next couple of weeks, mainly to see how it affects my earnings if I skip a day, but also to recover my throat a bit. I do hope you understand. That being said, would you like a Dauntless or Endeavor of your own to command? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, or if it was informative to you, please click the like button and maybe subscribe for future content. I thank you kindly for watching and wish you all a peaceful day. The Emperor Protects.